Welcome back Silver Punks. Today we got a feature length video for you showing you the complete process how we made our Chucky round. So sit back, grab a brew and watch this bad boy. Let's get straight into Actually, it. She reminds me a little bit of you. Now I'll come to think of it. Oh, I can see what you're talking <laughs> about. So, the airline. I, I, I'm liking it. I like Chucky, I must admit. Yeah. So um, let's pick one of these guys. Um, and again, we can, yeah, I like, I like, I like this one. I think. I, I, I like that. I like that. Maybe um, I don't know if you, the text on the on the plinth bit, that will probably get lost in the um, in the process. But I think this head is pretty, could be pretty cool. It's a bit scary. Yeah, you or you could do it as a whole, um, like you did the Albert Einstein. You could do it as a uh, six days, Judge. Six days. Um, yeah. <clears throat> what do you reckon to this fella? I like that. I mean, if looking at that, I like I like the the lines on his skull had come out pretty, on his forehead had come out well. Yeah. Yeah. I I think with that, I'm I'm just thinking, could we chop? I'm I'm thinking we get the front of his hairline again. I'm I'm trying to make my life easier. I'm thinking maybe a bit more difficult for you. You know, like some of the you know, like that skull you did on the rectangle, which was really yeah. thin. If you could put a rectangle behind his head, I could do that. Could be cool. That could be cool. Like him, or, or yeah, that could be cool. Well, so you, so basically saying um, have a flat, yeah. is flat back rather than a, a, a round head at the back. Yeah, definitely. Def, whatever we do, I, I prefer a flat back so I can pour it in, so I don't have okay. to use the flask just because of the time. Because if I get the flask wrong one or two times, it it ain't an hour just tip it in. It's it's mucking about trying to get it ready and a lot of clean up. And I think with the if we if we just do a flat pour, I can have three or four set up and ready to go to, get, to make sure we get one. So I reckon this guy is on the on the the definitely pile. Then um, yeah, I like the look of that. I mean, I mean fr from the photo, obviously until I get the print, it just looks maybe a bit problematic in in his eyes. The reset cess looks a bit deep, but I can sort that. We I can muck about. Yeah, that I'm yeah. I'm a lot happier with that one. Okay, and uh, just looking at a license here, that's an attribution license. So, um, Taraxian, if that's how you say it. Um, Taraxian. <laughs> anyway, it's well yeah. Done. So, so we'll uh, we'll 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 make sure you're fully attributed um, if uh, we ever use this uh, any you know, further on. So, here we go. Right then, let's let's uh, let's see how you work your magic then, Judge. Let's see how it all happens. Right, so let's download Chucky. I ho hope you're going to make it easier for me this time. I want something easy, my end. Yeah, yeah, no, no, I've got you covered, mate. I've got you covered. So I've moved over into Blender, and I'm going to import the STL file that I've got from Thingiverse. Just go to the location where that file has been downloaded into. So it's import STL. It's quite a large file, 47 megs, so hopefully there's a uh, fair amount of detail here. But we'll uh, have a little bit of a play once it's uh, um, imported. So am I right in thinking, it, because the file's so big, the actual size in centimetres height-wise big, or is it just the, the details? There we go. Um, it's it's the complexity of the model, so ah, right. I think really like a... Um, like a JPEG file, mm. the more the more detail you've got in the image file, the uh, the bigger the file is. Right. Okay. So it's not the actual measurements of the print it's going to be. It's no. the actual. Ah, right. No, no, okay. No, I'm no. with you. It's the complexity of the model that will that will impact. Ah, oh, look at that. That's cool, man. It's. Uh, yeah. No, it's really interesting. So what 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 are you thinking? Do you want a a flat back? Cut. Yeah, so I, I really like uh, or, um, I really like what we did with a zombie and don't you think it'd be cool to have like a matching pair you could do something you know and you can have them both sitting on a shelf or something then that'd look well cool wouldn't they okay. Halloween so we, matching pair okay so so again I, I like how specific you are there so Rather than speaking oh. general, generally, gen, gen, easy for me to say, generalities, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add something on here so you can then talk me through it, what you mean. I want him cutting. I'm a bit like okay. what we did on the previous thing. I want you to lob the back of his swede off 
right? And then put like yeah. um put it flat back so it can stand up. Okay. There we go. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. So I'm lobbing off the Swede. At the back, yeah, yeah. Right, let's have a look. So I'd want see because you got what you got to think about here is as, as going to be a lot of silver in, in his head, isn't that? So he's going to flop yes. forward, isn't he? We're no, trying to make worried him... about balance now as well. Yeah, oh, that's just coming to my head because look, don't you think you see how small the base is? Could you go a bit close? I, I think you see where his hairline is. Yeah. Go go to there and then let's have a. Go more, I think, at the front of here, like, go more. Uh, how about, is he not better suited to going in around? Just his head? Yeah. Yeah, that'd be a good idea. So, like, again, like, he's coming out of the middle of the round. Because I don't think, now you say it about the, um, it actually looks a little bit, it looks really evil. Yeah, I like I that. Yeah, can you do him coming out of a round? But now you, I guess, now you say about the base being um, troubling in terms of it being able to stand up. I think we need to do something different to what we've done with the zombie because that. The, I know I really like the zombie, but no, no, okay, no, I, I, I totally understand. I'm just thinking from physics and yeah, silver weight of silver. His head's just going to keep flopping over. Yeah, I agree. So, how much do you want to come out of the? In terms of the face, let me get you so you can see it a bit better. Can you, is that okay for you? Can yeah, you I can see. Yeah, I can see it. That I'd come cook with the hair. I'm gonna say I'll, I'll lop off the uh, the chucky bit at the bottom. See, that's so. that's quite a big. That's cut. No, I'd come forward. Yeah. I'd I'd go just before. Yeah, I'd go something like that. I think that looks scary. Do you want just a little bit of hair, or is that still a bit, still a bit too much silver? Do you reckon? I think we just uh, do. We need a bit of hair. Does he look silly without? That? Do we, do we know that it's chucky without that bit of hair? I think we need a bit, a little bit of hair. How about that much? Gives an indication. Yeah, that's cool. Hair. Yeah, because I want it to like, so it's like coming out the ground again, because I'm, I'm I'm into coming out the ground and stuff. Yeah, I like okay, that, mate. So let's, let's, um, let's see if I can take... Yeah, that's okay, so cool. That's, that's giving you, giving you an indication. I'm going to take. See, because that is pretty. That that's a nice deep relief. That is, mate. That's going to be a nice. It's going to stand nice and high off the back of the round, isn't it? It's going to look cool. Yeah. So I'm also going to do a similar kind of thing, and just delete. Use this. This is a uh, for for. People who are interested in the technicalities, this is a Boolean modifier. And what I'm doing is I'm taking the um, this the cube and using it to delete with a Boolean. Use basically remove the difference. Um, probably not explain that very well, but it's much easier than manually trying to carve up and use some of the other tools. So I like using a Boolean modifier. Oh, yeah, he looks scary. I, I think that I think he needed that bit of hair, didn't he? Because I think we I was losing so. yeah, yeah, who yeah. he was, yeah. Okay. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to um, actually make him a little bit... Move him off the, um, the, play, the flat plane a little bit. I'm going to put a coin underneath it. So let's just say... Are you going to have a coin with like a border or a, just a flat one? What, what do you want? I think one with a border might look cool for this. Okay, so let's do a um, cylinder. Don't worry too much about the dimensions right now because, like I say, we can, as long as it's. Um, to the right proportions, we can scale it. Okay. Right, so let's just get it something we can see. 50, 550. It's very too much. Oh, I see, and then, yeah, 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 I can see what you're doing now, yeah, okay. So we've got a, let's 
probably a bit too big, isn't it? The, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, board, you, yeah. But don't forget, you're so going to do a little border, aren't you? So yeah. no, exactly. So so the uh, the border. Let's just put it at eight. Is that too small? Because obviously we've not got much room for a border now. Well, if put him in the middle, I can't really see from my screen, mate. He doesn't look completely in the middle. Is he in the no, middle of it? No, no, no. Get him in the middle. Okay. Yeah, I think he's a bit, bit slight. I don't know. Yeah, it depends how much border you want, doesn't it? Well, okay. I guess actually. It doesn't matter so much if some of these features of Chucky's are touching the border, does it? No, no, matter? not at all. I, yeah. I prefer that. I prefer okay. that. <clears throat> so let's um, let's duplicate that. And then what I'm going to do? So this is our Chucky scary round. Then this can be cool. Yeah. So let's try seventy. Oh, let's duplicate that. So have the duplicate 70 by 70. It's all a bit weird at the moment. Don't worry about that. Mate, I'm sure you've got it covered, mate. It's it's beyond me, as you know. It's absolutely beyond me. So let's try. So you can see that from there, the outside to this orange line, that's going to be the, the border. Yeah, yeah, that looks cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we lose yeah. a little bit of his head. That's fine. Proportionally, that's pretty good, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah, that looks cool. Um, right then, mate. So size-wise, I'm thinking that some of the rounds we've done before have been around 40 mil, haven't they? Right. Um, I'd so, but this one's quite high relief. As you can see, his face, his chin and his cheeks quite puffy in his forehead. So if we do go for 40 mil, I'm, I'm guessing this is going to be a nice chunky pour, maybe getting up to 100 grams. So that would be nice if we could get it towards that. So okay, I'm thinking so, the outside edge, 40 mil. What do you think? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that, 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 that sounds right. And what, what about the depth of the coin? So obviously, um, yeah, Chucky's going to ex extend beyond the depth of the coin. But I'm thinking probably we don't want... At the moment, it's just set up for two centimetres. That's way too deep, isn't it? Um, or, or is it, actually? Do you want something more... Yeah, you've got a bit more play in the, the model. So I can push it in a bit more. Yeah, yeah no, yeah. that would be cool. Two centimetres would be cool, mate. Yeah, so I can push it in and pull it out. Or even... You know what, mate? To make my life easier, can you do it three centimetres? Yeah. Yeah. So, so... I can pull it out by hand, then, you see. Yeah, what I'll do is I'll actually make it... This is all relative because we've got the, the this is 80 mil i'm going to double it make it 60 mil and then i'll adjust okay cool man um so let's do so i think it's looking cool this is probably going to, again, use the boolean tool, remove, oh, do it the other way around, sorry. Remove the difference. So we've got, uh, that might be a little bit much, but let's see. It's looking so cool. That's going to be too, that's too deep, isn't it? That's yeah, yeah, deep. yeah. <laughs> we've lost him. Chucky's fell down the well. So let's um, be a little bit less cavalier with this then. It's all trial and error as well. I mean, we can. Well, that's can it. Either... It's experimental, isn't it? It's the same. My end is until you've got him in and had a look. Quite good. Relatively speaking, the, the head's popping out, some of the details within the coin. Yeah, that looks cool. Uh, well, you're gonna have issues with some of these deep recesses, deeper recesses. That, that's what I was just thinking. Is it, it's it's yeah. I need him. No, I need it less, mate. Thinking about it, it's gonna be too much of a. I want his head. To, I want it more high relief from away from the border. So, 
how wide do you want the head to be? Let's 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 work from that. Okay. So it's hard until I see. It. Let's have a look at that. So that's because you've got his hair. There's not much depth there. Let's take a little, make it a little bit deeper. And I'll tell you what I'll do is I will um, I'll edit the. Oh, that he looks scary now. <laughs> Pick the right object. Edit. So again, I'll bring that plane up. That's uh, that would be perfect. Yeah, that's cool. How's that looking for you? Yeah, that's perfect. I'm liking that. I'm liking them apples. So you've got, you've got a, a small recess. So Mate, it make your life a bit easier. That looks super. Yeah. Chucky looking insane. Does it? Doesn't it? Doesn't it? Does it? Don't you think that's more scary than just just a bust portrait bust? That's a lot scarier than coming out or something. I think what I'm going to do that is I'm going to um, go back on the Z. I think he needs to move down a little bit. Let's see what that looks like. What do you think about that positioning? The hair's almost touching. The chin's touching at the bottom. Yeah, that's good, mate. I'm liking it. I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm 100% bought in on that one, mate. Yeah, I'm in, excited to get, get my hands on that. Okay, and that's going to be four centimetres top to bottom. It's going to be overly deep, so it's going to be three centimetres deep. Yeah, that's perfect. Yeah. Just the, the reason being on that, I'll just quickly explain. I don't know whether you're 3D print dudes, but it's just when I push it into the... the the, the impression in the sand it gives me something I can lift out you see yeah. I, I, I can pull out a lot easier and also it gives us it also gives us we if we wanted to add a, add more silver weight to the piece we can by going a bit deeper yeah so you can so you, you don't you can you can just go in at that height but you could go in much deeper as well if you wanted to couldn't you yeah yeah if you wanted a chunkier round yeah you can make it a bit bigger if you know you wanted a heavier pull so I'll save that as a chucky Round. I'll um, export this, get it sliced, and get it on the three D printer. No, if that sounds cool, mate. And I'll look forward to you uh, sending me the results, so I can start getting in the uh, pouring shed and get getting it on. Look at Chucky! Look at that bad boy. Welcome back, Silver Punks. And as you can see, I'm here with a Chucky Round 3D print that the judge has sorted out. If you've seen some of the build-up videos, the first video, you've actually seen me and judge have a discussion about this little 3D print, getting it ready for, for the pouring. And at first, this one come as a 3D bust, but the judge manipulated it and made it into a round. He come up with the idea. I, I fancied one a standing up version, but the judge come up with the idea. Now it looks scarier, a bit more scary if it was in a round and he's done it but then I, I actually come up with the idea of doing it really really chunky that's 30 mil that's 33 centimeters 30 mil just so I can push it into the sand this is experimental we haven't tried this before normally we just do them probably like that 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 thick and then I have to play about with the sand but with this we thought give give try and make my life a bit easier I can actually push it in like that and then just pull it straight out because there's more to hold on to and all I need to do is just mark on the side there how deep I want it, how thick I want the round stop at that point, pull it out and obviously it also gives us an opportunity to make thicker rounds so we can add more silver in, make them a lot heavier I mean, can you imagine doing that in silver all that? it'd be so cool, it'd be a nice chunky round well I call it a round, it's a, it's a cylinder barrel isn't it? but if you look at the details, look at him, you've got, you've got I don't know whether you're going to pick it up on the camera but nice lines on it He's got his fractures in his skull going down there in, on his forehead and just like, look how scary he looks. Just looking forward to getting this one cast and poured. So I think what I need to do now is work out how I'm going to do it. Get get the um, frame or the flask out and have a look. Because I think I'm just going to push it in like we said. But I'm so tempted just to try and do the whole thing as well. That would look so cool. It would take so much silver though. I'm not sure what we got but... Yeah, I think the judges come up trumps. So this is the next video in the Chucky series. So the next one I'm going to be doing is doing the sand cast. So I hope you all join me next time when I do the sand cast in preparation for the pour. Cheers. Look at that bad boy.
You getting that? And as you can see, here we are. There he is. There's Chucky. So we're going to make the cast today. We're going to make the sand cast. So there he is, very excited. Hopefully you've seen the other videos in this series of us doing the Chucky round. So new experimental 3D print, as I've explained earlier. So what we'll do, we'll, we'll crack straight on. We'll get the um, casting process up and going. So the first thing we need to do is get some sand in a ring. So let's crack straight on with that. Let's do it that way, actually. Right. So you're yeah, very um, excited for this one, because let's be honest, who doesn't like Chucky? Chucky just rocks, doesn't he? So I, I think this is going to be a really, really cool pour to do. Hopefully the judges come through with the prints. I'm sure he has. But only time will tell. Right, let's get some sand in. Oh, it's a bit cold out in the shed. But this will warm us up, no doubt. Get some in. Now, I'm not actually going to sieve this in. I'm just going to break it up with a spoon today. So I hope I'm not rocking the cameras too much. There we go. If you are enjoying this series of of uh, Chucky, please th please do subscribe because it all helps and it'll help you guys to re uh, to be notified when the v next video goes goes up in the in the current playlist because we are breaking them up now. We have we've got a lot of projects on the go, so this this will be the Chucky one. I know we've got a couple of other things happening. We've got the Domino pour as well from Twin Peaks, so we've got a lot going on. So it will just help you guys get a notification of when which video is going live, which ones you want to watch. Hopefully you want to watch all of them. But each their own I suppose, isn't it? We're just having great fun just doing it, these experiments. Right, so we've got some in now. Let's get some more in. Let's get the hands in. So hopefully with this new 3D print, we can get some good results and it will be a start of a new way of doing them because obviously it's a lot thicker. So if it does work, then I think it's going to be what we're going to be doing going forward. Doing a lot, if we just want to round, we'll just do them with a 3, 30 mil, I'm sure it was 30 mil back. And then we can just push them in, pull them out. That's the idea, that's the plan. Rather than me messing about with a lot thinner coin thickness impressions for 3D prints, we do the thicker one. I can just pull it out because I was having problems. If you've watched some of the earlier videos with some of the school rounds and what have you, actually getting the 3D print out the sand, it was sticking and I was having all sorts of Barney rubble. But now, hopefully, this will get us out of that, get us out of dodge if it goes to plan. So, here we go. Sorry if I'm rocking the camera, but I've got to get it packed in. There we go. I just hope this works because I love Chucky. <laughs> so, right, let's get this flattened off. There we go, that is, there's where we're going to make the print, so I'll just, I'll just clear this off for a second. So we clean. Right, you're back, you're getting that. There you go, right then. Let's see how we can make this happen. So, there he is. There's Chucky, what I'm going to do as always, a bit of talc on him. Powdery milk, do the sides as well. There we go. Right then guys, first go with a new style of 3D prints. Let's see if Judge has done the business. Oh, well it presses in nice. Now, it's just how deep do I go? And obviously we need it the same both sides so we get a nice level pour. Are you getting that? Right now, I'm thinking that's probably good to come out. A little bit more push. Right, if you've seen then, it was a bit wobbly, but 
There you go. Oh, look at that, guys. Look at that. There's Chucky. Oh, we're happy with that, guys. And you've seen the process, a lot easier, no messing about. We've got a nice round. Got a nice lip there, so we can pour nicely. Hopefully, if I get the the pour right, it's just just broke up slightly there, but that that's that that happens sometimes. So I'm not too concerned. That's a bit of character. So yeah, look at that, look at that bad boy. I think the judge has done us proud there. I really do. I think it's come out well. So what I'll do now, I'll do another couple. So we've got all the impressions. I'll quickly show you through what we've got. As you can see, we've got the four impressions done. I've done, done them all in little flasks. As you can see, I had two big ones. I've only got two big ones, two little ones. I've got four made up from the nice 3D print that the judge did. So we've got a few bites of the cherry at this one, just in case, because it is experimental. Never done it before. So we're not sure how it's going to come out, but there you go. You getting that bad boy? Look at him. So yeah, really excited about this one. Love Chucky. Love the subject matter. So the furnace is up to 1068. So no further ado, I'll get the map gas. We'll get the tongs heated up because it's very cold. It is very, very cold out in the pouring shed HQ. So I'll get the condensation and any coldness out of those. Good to go. Right then guys, put the gas down. And let's see what we can do here. Right, let's just check the furnace. Yep, yeah, furnace 1072. As you know, I like it between 1000, 1070, 1080 for these type of pours. So, won't be long now. Just give it another 30 odd seconds. So if you do like what we're doing guys, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. It all helps and it'll um, just remind you guys when the next videos are coming. We've got some really cool things coming down the pipeline. We've got a viewer request that we're working on. Someone requested that they wanted a domino doing, so we're doing a silver punk domino. So if there is anything you guys would like, like us to do or any ideas, just drop us a line or a comment below and we'll see what we can do. Right then guys, let's talk in, let's get pouring. Right, 1,075, let's have a look. Oh yeah, we got the glow. Right, experimental chucky pour. Here we go. Oh, look at that chunker. Oh, it's got a lovely back on it, I did go a bit heavy. But look at that guys, look at that. My word, this is going to be a chunk, it's over 100 I'm guessing. I think I put 150 grams in from memory, I've got it written down on my pad, yeah, 150 went in and there's only a little bit left. But look at that, look at the colours on that. Oh yeah, look at that guys. You getting that? That is superb, I'm loving that. Look at that bad boy. Oh, it's taking a while to cool. And it is absolutely freezing here. So it just shows you what a chunk it is. Oh, yeah. Oh, I'm so excited with this one. There it goes. Now, I'm guessing we might get a little bit of bubbling. Look at the, look at the colours. Still red hot, still going. Guys, I don't know if to give him a flip over now or we'll just give it another 30 seconds there. Yeah, we're getting some bubbling. There we go, the air's trying to get out. Oh, it's not a problem, I can sand those off, but I mean, it's the it's the way it was born. The Silver Gods, that's how it was born. So I, I, I kind of like them, if I'm honest. It's the way it's meant to be. Right, guys, should we get him flipped over? Let's have a look. Experimental Chucky. Oh, he's a big chunker. Oh, look at that, guys. Oh, my word. 
Oh, are you having that? It is a chunk. But again, it's with the with the 3D print. We can control it, so we can do it. We can do it shallower, so not as not as deep. But he's a chunk of a paw. He's a oh right, guys. Let me get you turn around for the quench. Oh yeah. Here we go then, guys. Over for the quench. You getting that bad boy? Chucky. Oh yeah. Oh guys. Oh, we're excited with this one. Excited. Let's have a look. Oh, guys, look at him. You getting that? It's the Chuckster. Look at that. He's a loaf, though. Look at that, though, for a round. Look at the thickness. You're getting the thickness on that. Look at that bad boy. Happy with that. He's going to come out well. Tone up nice. Nice in the hand. We're getting weighed when we go inside, but I've got another one. We'll have another go. So I'll reload the furnace and we'll do another one. Right, guys, here we go then. We're going to go for pour number two on the Chucky. Furnace is back up to temperature. 1,080, 82. So, yeah, here we go. We've got the glow. Let's have another go. Chucky pour number two. I'll just give it a little wobble at the end because it didn't quite fill. Just had to give it a little, little go. Oh yeah, look at that bad boy. Oh yeah. Try to do this one a bit thinner. It's got a lovely dome back on this one. Oh yeah. You getting that? Look at the colours. Look at the colours. Oh, so excited. I've got a little bit of silver left. Probably not enough to do another one, but what I'll do, I'm going to pour it in one of the remaining casts I got just to see if we can get a little chucky face. We'll go, we'll do an experimental just to see. You getting that? Oh yeah, right, let's flip him over. Oh, flames, that's what we like to see. Look at that bad boy. Oh yeah, looks like he's come out cool again, guys. This this new 3D print, the, the, new, the new 3D prints are working a treat. They really are, it's, 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 it's a lot better having the thicker print size. There he is. Right, I'll just turn you around for the quench. Right, let's get him in for the quench. And we'll have a look at him. There we go, guys. Looks like he's come out okay again because I've rocked the the mould. We may it may be a bit misshapen on the bottom, which is a bit of a nuisance. But yeah, as you can see on the bottom there, a bit misshapen. Which is a bit of a nuisance, so it'll be a meltdown. But look at that! Look at the face come out cool. Oh yeah, you getting that? Right, and guys, what I'll do? I'll take you inside. I'll do the other pour off camera because I haven't got a lot of silver. Just an experimental, but I'll show you the results. So we'll go inside now and see what we've got. Right, welcome back, guys. Here we are inside. Bit of a messy desk, as you can see, but here we go. As you see, I've done another one. I melted the one down which went awry a bit on the side, but that was the first one. Look at that bad boy, you're getting that. Look at that, big chunk of a pour. And there's another one that I just done at the end. Didn't quite come out at the top, but that was my own fault because I had a bit of a slight problem with the old uh, mould. Um, let me just grab it for you if I just leave that here. I'm just holding the camera. Where's the mould gone? Here he is, over here. We had a slight bit of a mishap. Because if you're getting that, you see that? I had a bit of silver go flying and burnt the side of old Chucky's face. So, God knows what the judge is going to say. He's going to have to get his little keyboard fingers out and knock me up another print. So, yeah, so I, I, I couldn't do any more. 
so yeah so we had to go with those but very very cool i mean look look at look at the relief on those i mean i did speak to the judge i didn't tell him about the uh the mold all he was his concern was a little bit about the layer lines he said right, how pronounced are they and you can see them so i think what i'm going to do i'm going to use the old tumbler the tumbler machine you getting that i've got my little balls in there with a bit of washing up liquid a bit of warm water so what i'm going to do i'm going to tumble them and just see what happens it's experimental but i just don't want to lose any of the features so i'm not sure how long i'm going to give them so what i'll do now i'll get the tumbler on and then come back to you right guys so here we are at the tumbler there he is he's inside there as you can see i'll put the worst one in first that's the better one that was the first pour that we did so he's in there now and I'm going to let it go. I'm going to put it on number three. So not too fast. And I'm only going to give him 10 minutes. So, and I might check it after five. So let me just turn him around to 10. And then we'll switch him on. Size. Okay. Right, might help if I turn it on at the wall, mightn't it? One second. Uh. There we go. So he's off the roof. Yeah, he's having a nice tumble. So I'll come back to you guys once he's tumbled. Right, punks, here we are. They've just come out the um, tumbling machine. That was the first one. As you can see, not quite pronounced now, the lines. But it went a I think I left it a little bit too long. He had about four or five minutes. And you can see we've lost a little bit of definition. But the lines, he feels smooth. And the back, the back's lovely now though. Look at the back. What a lovely back. That's come out. That'll tone nice. But so the for the first pour, still can see some of the lines, but just toned them down slightly. So not quite as quite as prominent. And you can still see the the cracks in his forehead. And again, the back's come out lovely. Look at the back. Really nice. Got got rid of some of the little bumps and what have you. So it smooth smooth things off. So I think the toning is going to take really nicely. But before we do the toning, I need to use another machine now. As you can see, this one's a little bit dirtier because that was in for long. I say dirtier. It's just just had more of a pounding. So some of the 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 furnace when you pour it, the colour's slightly different, as you can see. So what I need to do now, I'll give them both an ultrasonic clean in the ultrasonic cleaner you see there so we're going to give them a clean now give them a nice ultrasonic bath and then once i take them out the bath they're going to be really really hot and then we'll do the toning so the toning should go really quick because the hotter you have the actual metal the quicker they actually tone so i'll pop them in the cleaner now for you and then i'll come back to you once it's done because i'm going to give them 15 minutes and as you know guys this is a really really noisy procedure so in the go they're in so let's just come round here right guys so here we are if you can see the two finished articles you getting that? Nicely antiqued up. Really well. Look at that bad boy. You getting that? Here's Chucky. That's the one that we only done in the tumbler for about a minute. And that's the one that went a bit longer. And as you can see, see the little hammer marks, the little balls where they've bombarded it. So it's got rid of the lines. So you've got two different finishes, but that, that's my favourite. You getting him? Look at that bad boy. First one we poured. Look at that, nice and thick. Look at the back on that. You having that? So, really enjoyable. Really, really enjoyed the pour. The judge done us proud with the old 3D print, which I've now ruined, as you can see. But there you have it, guys. Chucky times three. More to be coming soon. So I hope you enjoyed it. Please do subscribe and like the video. And I'll see all you silver punks for our next video. Cheers.